Hey guys, this is Imi Chicken, Team Bandori, welcome back. So I got this box from China, and what I've ordered is... A replacement analog stick for the N64 pad. I remember the days at Sixth Form College, when a fellow student brought in their N64, and two of the pads had, like, terrible sticks. I don't want to be that guy. Have my friends over and say, hey, you can use the bad pads. No, that, that's just cruel. So this has arrived, and it seems like a decent product. From what I can tell, this feels quite similar to the N64 experience. It does seem a little lighter than the original pad. Maybe stands a little taller. But honestly, the N64 pads were not that great to begin with. Just gonna check which analog stick I'm gonna replace. Whose stick works the best? The player one stick seems a bit slower here. Yeah. This pad needs a new stick. So you see the wiggle of the stick? Flashbacks. Hope this one's not trash. So the replacement seems a little lighter. It should be okay. Using a posi driver, we need to take out six screws on the back. There's also two smaller screws in this hole here. Then we can pop the hood. The big box in the middle is what we need to replace. We'll take off the Z button. Unplug this here. Then remove the three screws. Side by side comparison. It's very similar. Its cable is slightly shorter. Give it a quick clean here. And we can pop in the new stick. Don't forget the Z button. Little polish. And we are done. The sensitivity seems okay. Works fine, but seems a little taller and lighter. You could say it's less sturdy than the official stick. Otherwise, quite a good experience. For $13 to repair your official N64 pad, might be worth it. It's much better than playing with a completely dead stick. If you like this content, like and subscribe. Affiliate links are in the description below. This has been Amy Chicken for Team Pandori. Ta-ra!